Hello family, welcome back to yet another edition of the Opolo Tivasti Solutions and, th and in this video we're going to be looking at uh, replacing a power supply or PSU, PSU, that is a power supply unit of a Lenovo Think Center but before we proceed, I think we can just start right away uh, but before we proceed, make sure to uh, there are some uh, some best practices that we have to put into consideration and uh, one of them is keeping uh, the computers uh, discharged from uh, static electricity at all times so in this case we have to uh, you have to keep always touching on uh, the metal or the, the frame of the the PC so that you always keep discharging uh, electricity static electricity uh, which might, 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 might damage the, any components that we may touch in, in the due course as we're trying to make this fix. So before we're wasting any of the time, we can start right away by opening uh, these bigger screws to ensure that we remove this panel. It's always uh, two-sided two -sided depending on, your, on the, the PC that you're working on, but in this case, for this Lenovo uh, Think Center, it's, it's a double pin. Others have three, others have Two, but this one has two for now so it's always uh, uh, easy to remove but in case it's tight you or stiff you can always use a, you can always use a screw so you will I will have to unscrew this and this so I have uh, I have my I can remove the panel or the cover so this is the inner part which we are, we are inter interested in uh, but before is uh, make, uh, considering you are changing the power supply you have to know the exact model that you're changing or replacing so in this case you have to look at uh, the model number which is always written here somewhere here on the, on, on the power supply itself then look at maybe the, the voltage and maybe the pins that are connect are to be connected back to the motherboard and the entire peripherals that are used in the computer so in this case, I I looked at this one has a I looked at the model. It's under hand key with the the model number unspecified. I can't specify it right now. Then you look at uh, the connectors, the cable connecting from the uh, CPU, no, from the power supply connecting to the motherboard and maybe these other parts, the hard disk and uh, the uh, CD drive. So you have to uh, put into consideration before changing all those. You need to make sure that ensure that you change the specific change to a specific power supply that is in the machine. Otherwise, you might end up doing double purchases. So for now, uh, remember the best practice is always to keep touching on the frame, on the metallic frame, so that we discharge electricity, static uh, electricity, which might uh, damage the components any component inside here as 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 long as there is no static we are we are safe but in case there is static you always have to chip, keep touching on the metallic frame to discharge that static so that's that's that for now um so what we have to do we've removed the casing and uh, next step is uh, we have to unplug the PSU uh, PSU pins the PSU cables so in this case, there is a main cable that connects to the a motherboard. I think you can see it here. It's uh, the biggest. It's always a, a 20 pin, 20 to 24 pin, depending on the machine. But this one is, uh, I think, a 14 pin. It's a, sm a smaller version. So it's always a bit slightly harder. You might need some energy to get it out. It, 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 oh. So I'll get it out like this. It always has a lock, you can just press on the lock, then you pull it out. Okay, then I will have to unplug the PCIe connector, which is uh, this one, is the one that connects to the, uh, to the CPU. People always sometimes forget this, so I'll get it out. Then which connectors am I remaining with? Uh, there are these ones that connect to... Uh, there is one which connects to to the uh, motherboard also, which is this one. Then we have to remove. Uh, I'll remove this one connecting to to the 
CD drive and then uh, remove the one connecting to the hard disk. So that's it, I've removed them, them all. Now what I'm left with is to remove and screw, remove the power supply now officially. So I have, uh, in most cases there is having four screws, which is this, this, this and this. So right away I'll get it done, I'll get it out. Unscrew this, unscrew this. And this, oh, this out, and the fourth one, and the fourth one. Okay, those are, those are the four, so I can remove it. I have to just push it inside a little, then fold it, flip it a bit, and get it out. So this is the old one. And, uh, New one here. I have my new one here, which I got from the local market, and uh, I just wrap it. So remember, remember what we said. We have to look for the specifications and ensure that the pins are similar to the ones from the old one. So mine here, the old one is having similar pins. I have to just confirm to that. I need to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven, seven, that's 14. But remember, I, I had to do this before making the purchase. I had to first check for the model number, the pins, to be connect, the connectors. And uh, so uh, if I'm to look at the connectors, I have two, the main ones, this and this. But remember, there is now this one, which is connect, was supposed to connect to the, uh, power drive so I need to cut that off if it's intact I need to get it off this one is okay it's still working so I'll just get this off of the old one and I'll just have to tie it somewhere here so I'll just connect it back to the unit so let's put this back now let's put this back I'll just flip it there slowly, gently. And boom. I, I screw them back. Have it back here. Then the downer one as well. Let's go the downer one. And this other one on the sides. So I will have to connect, I will have to connect this back, uh, then uh, this one, the main one, I'll put it back, then I'll have this one, this one that connects to the uh, hard drive, I'll have to Back slightly, sorry about that. Oops. Then back to the let's put it here where you can see. And I'll connect back to the CD drive and the power. the hard drive connect the uh, 
the drive connects there. You may have to tie this cable back to these other main cables so that they are intact. Then I'll get back my panel. I'll get back my panel and fix it back. Then screw screw this. And uh, I think that's that. So we are, we'll have to connect back to the power supply, to the power unit. But before you do any of these, make sure that uh, you unplug the power. You remove all the connections. So I started off by removing the power sub, uh, the power cable, removing, disconnecting all the VGA, the mouse keyboard, and all the connections were removed to reach to this level. So I'll have to connect them back and uh, check whether it's working. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much.